But I talked about Judy Bolton, although she doesn't really count, because different part of my life. Talked about Superintendent Battle, talked about Perry Mason, two left. And the one I want to talk about here is, sorry, the one I want to talk about here is Roderick Allen. He was inspector, and then he was chief inspector, and then he was superintendent. And I don't know if he got promoted any farther than that. Roderick Allen was created in 1934 by New Zealander Nio Marsh. I've read that it can be said Nio or Ingao. I just always said Nio, so that's what we're going with. This is another series that I discovered when I was running out of Agatha Christie books, and Nio Marsh is often compared to Agatha Christie, so somehow I heard about her and decided to try one of the books, and I don't know exactly what it is about Roderick Allen, what it is that I like so much, but I really just do. He's of the gentleman policeman variety. He's very intelligent, but he's got a sense of humor. And I always love that. And the novels, there's something very cultured about them. Marsh has frequent themes of theater, Shakespeare, art, New Zealand related culture, and music. She had a lot to do with the theater, and the books reflect that. They often start with a list at the beginning, a cast of characters. They usually follow the system that I like the best, which is, a, here's a group of strangers, that have been brought together and this is them isolated in this not so great situation and poof, murder. I tend to remember which one is which based on either where it took place, Rome, an ocean liner, a snowstorm, or based on the background. Is this about an actor? Is this about a musician? Is this about a play being put on? I realize that as I'm describing this, it might make it sound kind of, mm, highbrow, but I don't think they are. I think they're very accessible. You don't have to be the scholarly academia type. I think that anybody could enjoy them. You can nearly always count on a great setting, great cast of characters, great police procedure, and just a thoroughly enjoyable reading experience with these books. There are 32 of them, I think. I know I haven't read all of them. I have one on my bookshelf that I have not yet read, which is Death in a White Tie, and I got it for Christmas, and I wanted to read it, like, the second that I opened it, but I'm saving it because I'm insane, and I like that delayed gratification. I know it's crazy, but I don't know. I like that these this series draws that kind of enthusiasm out of me. And, heck, I'll go ahead and say it, if I had to choose of my favorite detectives, who would I probably most want to marry? I'd say Roderick Allen, 